Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new, currently unreleased, Benefactor Schlagen GT. Now this motherfucker looks amazing. So without any further ado guys, let's get this into LS Customs and see what sort of customizations we have for this beast. So you go my dudes, as you pull into LS Customs, you'll see the Benefactor Schlagen GT is in the sports category. And as always guys, we're going to start this build with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes for the bumpers. Front bumpers we're going to start. And we have loads of options, which is very, very pleasing to see. So we've got the extended carbon. And uh, then the same with the primary and then the secondary. Uh, so, so, you know, the first few are the same, just a different color. Uh, which is something that we see on a lot of the vehicles in GTA. This one's a little bit odd. I don't really understand them fins on the side. They look weird as hell, man. The split is pretty cool, but the fins ruin it for me. So yeah, we'll be skipping straight past these ones. And then we move on to exactly the same thing, but <laughs> we get the added tow hook, which is, again, really, really odd. Not really sure. It's a shame we can't get that rear, that bottom splitter without you know, having to have them fins or that tow hook it is really odd and um, it's quite disappointing to be honest because I was hoping um, for a little bit more than that for the front bumper if I'm if I'm honest uh, like I said that, that tow hook man and them fins just ruin it completely ruin it but I do want to have something I think this extended splitter looks a lot better than the you know the stock one without it so we are going to be purchasing one of them what the hell man we can always change it if we want to um, at a later date but for now we are just going to go with the primary extender then that brings us nicely onto the rear bumper uh, again we've got a few options and yeah I was going to say I think they're all going to be pretty much the same just different colours so with these ones we do get the added diffusers at the bottom um, they definitely look better than the stock one I'll give them that I think the primary vents is probably the nicest one you know, even over these ones where we've got the extenders at the bottom. Not a massive fan of them. So I'm just going to go with the primary vents. Next, we're going to move on to the chassis. So we get to change the interior seats, which is really nice. Uh, it's a shame it doesn't take us into the interior so we can see it a little bit closer up. So we are going to have to peer through the, <laughs> through the windows to see what is changing. But this one here is just the racing seats. This one is the same seats, but with dials. So, can we see? Oh, yeah, we can see him just there by his knee. All that center console is changing. The next one is the racing seats with primary cage. So, we're still getting the same seats, same dials, but this time we've got a, a roll cage to go with it. And then, and then, the next option is exactly the same, but the roll cage is obviously going to be the secondary color rather than the primary color. Hopefully, the secondary color is just going to be the bowl cage is not going to change any of the other colors on the car so we'll see anyway but for now we're going to go with the racing seats with secondary cage then we're going to go to the engine we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade then we've got the exhausts we've got the triple the race all oh, the races on the side they look quite quite cool i like them then we've got the alternate race side exhaust and then we've got the competition side exhaust holy crap that looks nuts man I actually really like that. So I'm definitely in favor for going for these competition side exhaust, man. They look crazy. We're really good as well at the same time. So yeah, we're going to go with them bad boys. Then we're going to move to the grill. So we've got the alternative grill. That's quite cool. I like that. So still keeping the badge in the middle, which is nice. All right. Yeah. So some nice options there. Um, the stock one is actually really nice. But I think... Secondary colour, I think it was for the cage, weren't it? So I think I'm going to go with the, the classic grill with a secondary icon. Then we're going to move to the hood. Loads of options for the hood, man. Loads of options. So we've got the sports vents. Uh, same with the carbon. Man, they look cool, man. Them race vents. like them. Same with the carbon again. Mm, that one's taken the sport vents to a whole new level. It looks like you've got a fucking massive penis on the hood of your car. So, yeah, that's not something I'll be going for. <laughs> the same in carbon. Again, very, very similar to the rounded vent. This is the alternate rounded vent. It looks even more like a dick. 
And then we've got the street vents. They're all right. I think they're pretty cool. You know, they're not bad. And then we've got the stock. So the sports vents, I think, was my favourite. But then I did see these street vents, which is obviously the sports vents, but with, you know, the added extra vents down the side. And I think that actually looks really good. So, yeah, oh man, I'm going to go with the street vents for the hood. Next, we're going to move on to the lights. We're going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. We're going to skip a neon kit for this build. Then that moves us on to the livery. Now, let's see what monstrosities we've got hidden <laughs> in the livery section. So we've got the red stripes. And as you can see, it just changes the stripe down the bottom. Oh, cool. And we've got one over the top as well. That actually looks quite nice. It's a shame it's in red. But then we do get it in white also. Then we've got... Oh, my word. Yeah, that's... Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely stand away from that. And like I've said in previous videos as well, I'm not a massive fan of these heavily sponsored uh, racing liveries. I think they look kind of weird, especially on you know, a luxury vehicle like this. Um, I'm all for having street cars, um, you, you know, and stuff like that. But when they're track cars and they're heavily sponsored liveries, I think they look a little bit weird, you know, because I, I don't know. That's just not my thing. But, you know, some of these are all right if you want to make it look unique, you know, maybe a little bit different. But these definitely ain't for me. Um, this stripe was all right. I think that was okay, but I'm not overly sold with it. I don't think it's anything amazing. So I'm going to stay none for the liveries. The next option we've got is the mirrors. So I'm assuming this is going to be the wing mirrors, which it is. Oh, and it's just a color change, nothing spectacular. So we've got <laughs> primary mirrors, and we can change them carbon. Um, I'm going to go carbon, I think. So then that moves us on to the respray. We're going to go primary color. We're going to go metallic and black looks awesome especially with the red um roll cage in there and also the red badge as well that looks mint i absolutely love that so we're going to go metallic black for this slug and gt yeah man let's do that next we've got the secondary color we're also going to go no we'll stay classic on this and you know definitely definitely we're going to leave it red but as you can see, when we do move it around, it does change the badge and it also changes the wall cage. But like I said, we're going to stay red because that black and red looks amazing on this vehicle. Next, we get the option to change the trim color. So at the minute, it is dark steel. And as you see, when we move up, it just it changes all this shit. And I don't know why it's dark steel. That actually is really, really light. Um, so I'm going to go with I'm going to go with a graphite. So the next option we've got is the roof. Quite a few options for the roof, so we can change it to the secondary color. Also have a carbon. Carbon's actually not too bad, you know. Considering we've got the carbon wing mirrors as well, we might go for that. Uh, but then we've got the primary alternate roof, the secondary, and then the carbon. I actually like that. I think the primary alternate roof is pretty smart, so we're going to go with that bad boy. And the more I'm customizing this vehicle, the less I'm liking that hood. So we're going to quickly go back to the hood, and I'm going to change it for something different. It's not going to be one of these dick hoods. I think that one is probably, you know, the best one, personally. So yeah, we're going to go with the race fence now for the hood. Quick change up there. Uh, where were we? Back to the skirts. So for the side skirts, we get a good few amount of options for the side skirts. The tiniest, and I mean the tiniest addition <laughs> to the side skirt there. Um, there's hardly any point in even fucking purchasing one. That one I don't understand because now it's blocking the exhaust. That doesn't make any sense. So it is, it is going to have to be a little one. Oh man, if I do purchase one at all. I think I should though. Because then obviously then it will match the front splitter that I purchased. So I'm going to go with the primary extended skirts. So then we're going to move on to the spoiler. Hopefully we've got some really nice additions for the spoilers. Because I think a spoiler could look nice on this vehicle. So then we've got the no spoiler. So Oh, so we can remove what little is there already. And the traction on this thing is all the way over to the top. So I'm not going to see if this is going to give you any sort of added traction bonus. But um, if it's all the way to the top, maybe you don't really need a spoiler. So the none option is actually really good. It looks really nice and clean. Then we've got the small spoiler, the street spoiler, the carbon, the race carbon, 
primary primary not primary carbon how could it be primary carbon you idiot it is a primary race secondary race carbon big wing primary big wing big wing secondary big wing that is quite difficult to say and it's not even a big wing it's a big wang yeah but they look awful they look absolutely hideous and all these look shit as well definitely i'm in favor for no spoiler that looks awesome so we're gonna go with that bad boy then we've got a sunstrip option. Not very often we get a option to put a sunstrip on our vehicles. And it's a shame that it's such a light, sort of like graphite colour behind it because it doesn't really flow well with my car because my car is now quite dark. So I'm going to say none for the sunstrip. Next we've got the suspension. I am going to get the race suspension, transmission. We're going to get the super transmission. And obviously turbo tuning. Now for the wheels, guys, these wheels as standard are awesome. And I highly doubt, actually I know that there isn't anything better in the wheels. The amount of times I've gone through these wheels is ridiculous. And I know pretty much what every single one of them looks like. And I know that none of them are going to look better than these standard wheels. And in that case, I am going to stay stock. So that moves us on nicely to the last option and that is the windows. And to finish off the build, I am going to be purchasing the light smoke window tint. So you go, my bros. There is my build on the brand new, currently unreleased, Schlagen GT from the Benefactor family. And this is something beautiful, man. This is, um, oh man, I really want to say probably the best looking vehicle that we've had in a long, long time in GTA. And I've got a feeling this is going to be quick. You know, I reckon this is going to be up there with the best sports cars in the game. Um, only because it felt quick when I purchased it, um, you know, as standard. And the fact we get an option of a super transmission is crazy. It's not really heard of in a sports car. We, I think we have it on the Sultan RS. But obviously, as people should know, that the Sultan RS is upgraded to a supercar when it's able to purchase when you're able to purchase the super transmission so it's not technically any more sports car um, but this is still a sports car and you've got a super transmission on it and it feels so quick man it's just hit 100 miles per hour just like that you know without any effort the steering feels light and responsive it feels like it's sticking to the ground even though we are in snowy conditions so i'm overly impressed and i'm really looking forward to seeing whereabouts this car comes in the sports category in regards to you know top racing positions you know how, how good it is around a track and also top speed as well because this like i've said man this is definitely going to be up there with the best for a quick over overall this car is beautiful the customizations on it are okay not the best but i'm happy with what you can do to it but as beautiful as a standard vehicle without even doing anything to it but yeah, one, it is beautiful. Two, it is quick. Three, the the um, handling on it is really, really good. And it sticks to the ground as well. So yeah, I'm overly impressed with the Schlagen GT and really looking forward to it coming out online. So guys, I'm going to leave the video right there. If you did enjoy, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.